Hey house guests, welcome to today's Big Brother 21 updates and spoilers. Our house guests of the day are Nick, Randy, and Pearl. Thank you guys so much for the support. Uh, we could not do this without you and we really, really appreciate it and think you're awesome. And I'm just super excited because I just got invited to Nick and Randy's wedding. Their invitation came in the mail. I'm so happy for you guys, that's amazing. And Pearl is just the cutest little chihuahua. So thank you guys again so much for the support. And if you wanna be house guest of the day like Nick, Randy, and Pearl, check out our Patreon link in the info box below or invite me to your wedding, okay? <laughs> so when we left off yesterday, um, the house guests were waiting for the oh so important power veto competition. The feeds went down at 3.34 p.m. and they did not come back until just before 6 p.m. So the players were Tommy, Cliff, Kat, Christy, because remember there's three nominees, and then the two extra players were Jackson and Nick. This is a big one, and it's set up right now so that it's like three versus three in the competition because you have Tommy, Christy, and Nick who all want to pull Christy off of the block, and then you have Kat and Cliff who obviously want to pull themselves down, and then Jackson, you can kind of group in with Kat and Cliff because he wants to win this and keep the nominations the same so that Christy will go. So if Cat, Cliff, or Jackson win, that means they can get rid of Christy because she'll still be staying up on the block. So guess what? It was Otev. I'm not sure what Otev was this time. You know how he's always like something different. Sometimes he's a stone. Sometimes he's like a stick of butter or whatever. Like <laughs> I don't know what he was this time. Um, but bad news, unless you're... I shouldn't say bad news because there are people who are rooting for the former six. But Tommy won the power of veto, so I guess Christy being on the block was just too good to be true. <laughs> Alright, so uh, when the feeds came back, Kat was upset and crying. She said she feels like a monster because apparently during one of the rounds, um, there was only one spot left and Kat and Cliff were both going for it and Cliff grabbed onto the rope to try and go up that last ramp, and Kat, she's a competitor. She didn't want to go out like that, so she went up the ramp a little bit and grabbed higher up on the rope, and I guess cut him off. I don't know if Cliff fell or what, but Kat feels bad that, I guess she knocked him out of the competition, but also, like, did she knock him on his ass? I don't know, but um, she feels bad that he got hurt. So Cliff keeps telling her it's okay. His injuries were from an earlier round. It looked like Cliff was really banged up and that makes me sad. But he kept telling her over and over again, it's okay, don't worry, it's okay. So then Jackson and Holly were in the Target bedroom. They share an extended hug. That is the hug of someone who just went out in the first round of Otev. Ooh, that sucks. So, he says his foot is throbbing right now. I don't think that's why he lost though. I think he lost because he couldn't find the answer that he was looking for during the competition. Uh, everybody was saying it was really hard the first like two rounds before they had some of the answers out of there. They had to like dig them up or something. Oh, I think that means the Yankees won. Okay, so, <laughs> um, yeah, Jack Jackson and Holly are trying to figure out what they're gonna do now because they were planning on Christy still being on the block and voting her out, but now that's not an option. So Jackson says, the thought of working with Christy makes him sick to his stomach. He doesn't wanna do it. He said, this is going against everything I believe in. So Holly, I mean, not that he's so great, but Holly says, she's assuming that Cliff will be the one to go this week. They seem to think that Tommy wants Cliff out, which is interesting because we've seen Tommy say, that he wants Cat out this week. So we'll see if it changes now or not, but uh, Jackson's like, yeah, we cannot vote Cat out. I mean, she's in their corner, right? She's super tight with them. Like they have a good relationship with Cliff too, but they're really close to Cat, really close. So then Tommy and Nick were up in the HOH room and Tommy is having this conversation in his undies. <laughs> Okay, and uh, it sounds like they're talking about the competition and it sounds like Kat was making her own stash of answers during the competition and she was like kind of hiding them in one area, but Tommy noticed that and he raided it for one of the rounds and he got the answer that he needed. Can't fault him for that, right? I mean, it was a good idea 
for her to like make a stash but I guess the hiding spot was too obvious and Tommy was smart enough to go in there. So Tommy says he's still leaning towards getting Kat out this week um, because now more than before because now Cliff is injured and he's a weaker competitor at this point and Tommy says he wants to get rid of a girl. You know, he wants to even the playing field a little bit because if they did get rid of Cliff, it would be six girls versus three guys. And that makes them nervous, uh, especially with Jess in the house. Nick cannot stop talking about how Jess only wants girls to stay, blah, 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 blah. And here he is saying we need to get rid of her, get rid of Kat because she's a girl. Okay, so anyway, um, Tommy has also been saying all week that Kat is connected to everyone. So it's fair because we're getting rid of somebody that's close to everyone except for me. So... <laughs> They say um, they're just glad that Christy's not going to be on the block on Thursday because that could have been really bad for them. Yeah, would have been great for us though. So, um, Tommy still wants to talk to the house about who should go this week. He says he's leaving it up to everyone else. But, you know, he's going to have his sway in there. So then they're talking about the competition again. Sis comes up for a few minutes. Or, sorry, Sis comes up after a few minutes, and they're all hyped up. They're like, oh my god, that was so amazing. Nick says no one's beating them. Apparently it was Nick and Tommy in the last round. <sighs> so, yeah. Now Sis is asking, what's the plan? What are we doing? Tommy says... He's probably using the veto on Christy. He's only saying probably because technically in the rules for the show, it says like you're not allowed to tell people what you're going to do, like who you're going to nominate or what you're going to, you know what I mean? So he's like, I'm probably going to use it on her. And then again, he's saying he wants to talk to everyone about who should go. So Sis says, I don't even care who goes home, but I'm leaning towards Kat. Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> so then Tommy goes to shower, and eventually Christy comes up and joins Nick and Sis in the HOH room. Christy is in a much better mood now. Now she couldn't, she could not care less if America doesn't like her and voted for her to compete in America's field trip. She is safe, so she doesn't care. Um, so they keep saying, oh, we told you it wasn't your time to go, and they all agree that Christy's gonna win HOH during double eviction. When's that happening? I'd like to know. So Christy says, oh, um, it's not really like a big deal that Tommy's using the veto on me because he probably would have used the veto on anyone who was the third nominee, even if it wasn't me. That's some bullshit. I'm sure if like Cliff or Kat or like, I don't know, maybe Nicole, if they were the third nominee, He'd not be saving them or Jess like I don't I don't know maybe because he's trying to like build some some ties to her I don't know but come on everybody knows that you two are super tight so Tommy's out of the shower and he agrees like oh yes I would use the veto on anyone who was a third nominee because that's fair and I want to have a normal week with two nominees so Christy says that she was praying during the competition not even for her to win um, she was asked, she was like saying, please don't make this harder for Tommy, please. So that's why Tommy was rewarded with the win. Ah! So she says, Tommy's a good person. He doesn't deserve to be effed. And Nick says, oh, he might get effed tonight. I'll tell you that. So then Christy screams, Nick! Whoa. <laughs> okay, so they all say how proud they are of Tommy. Let's move on. So then Cliff, Jess, Nicole, and Holly were all chatting in the Target bedroom, and it turns to strategy. Cliff says that he wants to talk to Tommy, and he's going to say, you know what, if it seems like it's a set deal that I'm going home, he wants to see if Tommy will let Kat know so that she's not frantic and crazy and running around all week. I don't see them giving a straight answer to anyone about who's going. It just... I don't see it happening. So Cliff says, I'm not going to give up until there's no other options. And then I'm still not going to give up. Um, we'll see what happens. So then a few minutes later, Holly leaves. So it's just Cliff, Nicole, and Jess. And Cliff says he's got to talk to Tommy. Because at one point, Tommy did tell him that he is not 
his target. Um, but then he's like, mm, he may have been saying that like Jackson's his target and Jackson's safe for the week, so that's not an option. Um, but maybe they can make something else happen, I don't know. So Nicole says, but if he was going after Jackson in the first place and then Jackson was safe, why would he not put up Holly? She says something's not right here. If you're going after somebody and then they're unavailable, you normally would just go after that person's number one. Like with Holly's HOH, she couldn't get Nick, so she got Sam. So she said, this isn't making sense. So Cliff says, yeah, um, this is a long shot, but <laughs> he wants to explore the possibility that maybe Tommy is ready to cut loose from Christy. I wish, but that is not happening. So Jess says, I don't think you should push that too hard. <laughs> yeah. So Nicole says, if Tommy did in fact want to target Jackson, he should take Cliff down or Kat and put up Holly. You know, take out Jackson's number one. And Cliff says, yeah, that's another thing that I can talk about with Tommy. Um, so Jess and Nicole are telling him it's not over, don't worry. And Cliff's like, I know. He's not gonna make any moves. Well, that night, meaning last night, you know what I mean. So um, he's just gonna relax and then talk to Tommy the next day. Okay, so then Holly and Jackson are in the kitchen. Holly says, I've got a proposition for you. She says, Nick is obviously back in good graces with the rest of them, meaning the former grateful, because Christy picked him to play in the power veto. She wouldn't have done that unless she knew that Nick was gonna use the POV on her if, she won if he won. So she said, I don't know if he's replacing us in the group or if they still wanna work with us, they still want us on their side. But if they do want us on their side, I think we go and be gung-ho on their side. <laughs> no! Holly wants them to get back with the former six. Oh my god, that's disgusting. So Holly says we can also try and make a deal with Kat and Jess to make a four with them. And then we'll be on opposite sides of the house from them and we'll all keep each other safe against Nicole like what what happens after Nicole is gone I feel like there's no incentive there for Jess and Kat to do that because once Nicole is gone who's this you know who is former grateful gonna target how are Jackson and Holly supposed to keep them safe okay maybe they go after Nick but then what after that like it doesn't make sense so um, Holly wants to make sure, it's really about keeping herself and Jackson safe because she wants to make sure that Kat and Jess wouldn't be targeting them if either of them won HOH and try and make sure that they go after Christy, Tommy, and Sis. So she's a little bit nervous because she feels like Cliff was really keeping them safe with the Cliff's Angels and if Cliff is going this week, she's nervous. So. I just feel like this is so lame. <laughs> it's so lame and it's making me not even want to watch this garbage. So they say they're going to marinate on it and talk about it later. <sighs> All right. Let's lighten things up a little bit with some laughs. How about that? So a bunch of the house guests were in the kitchen last night. They were chatting about those who have already been evicted and what are they doing now? I'm pretty sure most of them, if not all of them, I think all of them actually are at reality rally in Florida looks like fun so um, they're wondering if there will be another battle back Nicole says maybe America's voting to bring someone back and Jackson says well let's us three meaning him Christy and sis not get evicted anytime soon because clearly we're their least favorites America's not gonna vote them back in so sis says um I was not supposed to be on there Jackson says, okay, well, if you weren't third least favorite, then you were fourth. Like, she's trying to say, no, I I was not one of America's least favorites. Um, Jack would have been before me. Tommy would have been before me, but Tommy was HOH. So Jackson says, well, if it was America's favorites, then Tommy or Cliff would have been on that list. I don't know about Tommy, but probably Cliff, right? So Sis says, and me. 
So Sis says, maybe America likes her and they wanted to give her safety. They knew that was up for grabs, so they voted her in there because they wanted her to get safety. She says, I refuse to believe America hates me. I refuse to believe it. Enjoy living in denial. So Jackson says, just being realistic, we're not their favorites. Oh my God. Sis is delusional. It's official. But anyway, like, what does she think that she has done to be one of America's favorites? Okay. So, Tommy and Kat were chatting in the HOH room, and Tommy lets her know he is leaning towards taking Christy off the block so that it will be a normal week with two nominees. Great! <laughs> so Tommy is claiming he doesn't have a target this week, he's gonna let the house decide. He says that his goal this week was just to include everyone in what was going on. He doesn't like that in the past people have felt like outsiders, um, so he wants to talk to everyone about the vote. Cool. Um, so Tommy says that the field trip really threw a wrench in his plan. He's trying to imply that he was going to put Jackson up on the block, but he was never going to do that. Um, but the real wrench in his plan was that Christy was up on the block. But it doesn't matter now. So he says, I tried to do what I thought was the most fair. And he tells Kat that she and Cliff are both fierce competitors. They both have a reason to put him up. You know, he tried to flip the vote on Kat. He voted Cliff out. <laughs> and um, he also said, you guys are tight with a lot of people in the house. So that's intimidating. Um, so Kat says, well, I wouldn't put you up. <laughs> she would. <laughs> so Tom says, Tom. Tommy says, everyone loves you. Um, and I don't want anyone to go home. Sure, Tommy. All right, so last night, Big Brother decided to give Sis more to do with her punishment. Yes, I don't know if this was the plan all along or if they were like, you know what, You're, this punishment is a little light. I think we need to add to this. So, first things first, they changed the tail on her costume to just like a long boa. That's not the important part here, but I thought it was worth mentioning. I don't know if they're going to keep changing that just because all the feathers keep falling off or what, but... This is the new exciting thing. When Big Brother plays her signal over the PA, she's gonna get different messages. Um, she has to start clucking and acting like a chicken. She has to go out to the backyard where they have like a chicken coop set up for her. And in that coop, there's a nest. She has to lay an egg. I guess the eggs are already in there and then she just like sits on it um, And then after that she has to go to the storage room get a basket of eggs that they leave for her and Cook the eggs however they tell her to and then serve them to everyone in the house So she's got to act like a chicken the whole time. She's not allowed to talk So if people are like hey, what's up? She's just got to be like bark, bark, bark. So <laughs> that's hilarious. So anyway We'll come back to that but back to the game first. Tommy, Christy, and Sis were discussing this week's vote. They still want Cat out, bottom line. Um, they want to see if maybe they can pull Jackson and Holly back in to their five, which I guess is a six again with Nick. And um, they want to see maybe we can get Jackson at least to vote Cat out. They're not really sure that they would be able to convince Holly. Do you really think they're not going to vote together? Because that sounds crazy. So anyway, um, Holly, Jackson, and Kat were strategizing, and Jackson seems to think still that Tommy would rather see Cliff go than Kat. I mean, to be fair, I don't think Tommy has told Holly or Jackson that Kat is actually his target. He's only shared that with Christy, Sis, and Nick. Um, but Cliff has said that he would target Tommy, so Jackson's assuming that Tommy would want him out first. Um, so then Holly and Kat were saying how they think that Holly and Jackson need to get back in with the six because Kat really needs those votes and Jackson just does not want to work with Christy again. He doesn't want to do it. And Holly's like, yeah, but we got to keep our friends close and our enemies closer. And then they were talking about how gross Nick is. He really has gotten exponentially nastier over the last, like, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks. He is nasty. So, 
Holly is even thinking about throwing Nick under the bus to the five. Um, I guess it would only be three. <laughs> and she wants to tell them, hey, if you didn't already know this, Nick has been playing both sides. He told us that Christy would put up myself and Jackson. So he's like driving a wedge between us, blah, blah, blah. And she's hoping that she can get them to target Nick. Good luck with that. Okay, so then Nicole, Jess, and Kat were chatting and they're all bummed because it's not looking good for Cliff's Angels this week. So Nicole says, again, she just doesn't understand why Tommy put up Kat and Cliff this week. It's not adding up. If Jackson was really Tommy's target and now he can't put him up, why wouldn't he put up Holly and take a number away from Jackson? Hello, Nicole, Tommy's lying to you. Jackson was never his target. She just doesn't want to accept that Tommy would lie to her. I don't know. Um, he was never gonna put up Jackson in the first place. So then Nicole comes up with a plan. She's like, what if we could convince Tommy to use the power veto on Cat or Cliff and put up Holly? And we will promise to vote Holly out. And I think she actually is saying like, yes, we'll vote Holly out because Tommy would be doing us a solid and we can keep keep all of the Cliffs Angels intact. Um, so Nicole says multiple people have told her that Holly wanted to put her up as the replacement nominee when she was HOH. So that's not cool. Um, and then Kat, it's interesting here, like where do her true allegiances lie? Is she more with Jackson and Holly or is she with Cliffs Angels? She's telling Cliffs Angels, you guys are my number one priority. Um, like, yeah, we're using Holly and Jackson while we can, but if we need to say goodbye to them, adios. I really don't know who she's with more. Like, obviously she has a final two with Holly, but I mean, if it came down to it, would she throw Holly under the bus to say? Possibly. Um, so Nicole is wondering, do you think there's some sort of understanding amongst the former six? To take out the bottom feeders first is that what's what's happening here so then Jess is asking Kat like from what you've seen are Holly and Jackson trying to get back in with their old group and Kat at first says like no but then she's like well Holly is she's definitely trying to get back in with them but Jackson is not he's against it Ooh, she's sharing that information. So Nicole is still saying, like, I think we should try this plan, see if we can get anything from it. Um, so then she was talking about it with Cliff a little while later because Kat doesn't want to be the one to try and propose this to Tommy. So Cliff tells Nicole, like, yeah, I can present that to Tommy. I've got nothing to lose. And Tommy knows that I like making deals, so it makes sense. So he says he'll try to make a deal with Tommy to take out Holly this week. And he'll promise, like, he won't put Tommy up moving forward in return. That's great and all, but, like, unfortunately, I really don't see Tommy not using the veto on Christy. He's not going to leave her up there. Even if they weren't planning on actually voting Christy out, he's not going to risk that. So, yeah, this morning, Sis started the next part of her punishment. Uh, Big Brother woke her up around 8.30 a.m. So I'm not sure if this punishment is going to be like a really morning heavy thing and then she doesn't have to do it the rest of the day because they've already had her make sunny side eggs, omelets, uh, scrambled eggs, hard boiled eggs, an egg white omelet, um, some other one that I can't remember, <laughs> I don't remember, and um, each time she has to make them and give them out to somebody different so like everybody gets some sort of egg but it's not like she's feeding everyone each type of egg, you know what I mean? So, also, um, she didn't know how to make all the different types. I don't blame her, I wouldn't know how to make all those either. Then again, I haven't eaten eggs in years. Um, but yeah, she they didn't give her instructions for the different types of eggs, which was a little bit interesting. But yeah, again, no talking during this, only chicken sounds. Okay, that's pretty fun. So anyway, Cliff made his pitch to Tommy, or at least his initial pitch this morning. It wasn't the whole backdoor Holly thing, or like put Holly up as the replacement, because Tommy starts off the conversation by saying, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take Christy down. Um, and he says that he would do that for any third nominee. 
So I think at that point, Cliff was like, you know what, I'm not even gonna push this right now, but he could potentially bring it up later. But for this conversation, um, Tommy was saying, I wanna leave the vote up to the house, blah, 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 all of his stuff that he's been saying for days now. So Cliff says, I'm down to make a deal. And Tommy says, yeah, I would love to explore that. What do you got? Um, I've heard that you would target me, so that makes me a little bit nervous. I'd like to make a deal. So Cliff says, yeah, I did say that, but it was just because you were part of the six. Everyone was saying that, yes, I was a part of it. So Tommy says, okay, well, for me to influence the votes this week to keep you safe, I would like at least two weeks of safety from you. So Cliff says, Tommy, I can, give, I can give you more than that. Uh, they both say that they want to work together. Cliff says like if he makes this deal, he wants them to actually work together, potentially long term. So Tommy says, you have two, thing, two big things going for you this week. You're injured and you're a guy. So I would rather have you here than Kat. So Cliff says, yeah, well, I wouldn't mind seeing you win because you're a real fan of the show. I think that's great. So he's talking about Derek and Cody, and he was like, I wouldn't promise that I would do something like what Cody did in season 16, but he's kind of implying, like, if we make it to the end, I'll take you. But he didn't say that. He was just kind of throwing it out there. So Tommy also loves that Cliff is a fan of the show as well. Okay, so they don't end up solidifying a deal yet here because they still have time to talk about it, but they will be talking about this more throughout the week. And then Tommy was saying how he wants everyone to have fun this week and he wants to set up some Easter egg hunts and play games. What? <laughs> so yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, the Power Veto ceremony is tomorrow. I think it's pretty safe to say that Christy will be coming down. But it'll be interesting to see if anybody from Cliff's Angels attempts to make that pitch to Tommy about not using the veto on Christy. So let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. And until tomorrow, much love.